Hi everybody, this is Amina, Dr. Amina Itisalmi for another episode of Wise Wednesdays and today I wanted to talk about three signs that your identity, that's who you hold yourself to be as a person, as a coherent entity, is actually not real. And the advantage of that is that you can then change if you want and you can look at yourself as a constantly evolving being and you can take um, habits, behaviors, and say, this no longer serves me, let it go and replace it with something new. So you're not fixed and trapped in a, in a, in a persona um, that is immutable or unchangeable. Um, and I'd also like to say that you are amazing because you're unique and uh, in the way you're made up, and um, life is very rare and very, um, and therefore very precious. And having been to the desert recently, that was very much emphasized for me. And um, it's amazing that you're here um, in this physical form. So congratulations, you are amazing. So three signs that identity isn't real. Sign number one, cognitive dissonance. So that's a phenomenon where something, some input you're getting doesn't match up with a prior belief or assumption. Now, if you were a fixed identity, then you would just ignore that and say, oh, it's not, that's not me, I don't believe that at the end. But cognitive dissonance uh, it triggers this mechanism where we need to feel coherent. So it's actually a need to feel coherent rather than real coherence. We need to feel that what we're doing makes sense and is aligned with what we say about ourselves, what we say we believe. Um, and when, <laughs> when that mechanism is uh, triggered, then we can do all sorts of crazy things. And actually, cognitive dissonance was studied by a psychologist who looked at cults. And a cult specifically that believed that the earth would be destroyed by a flood. And he looked at how members reacted when it didn't happen. So uh, <laughs> the less extreme members thought, okay, well, that's, it was a mistake. It was silly. And they didn't want attached to their identity as a cult member. It was like, fine, that's not true. Let's move on to something else. Um, whereas the ones that were very attached to their cult identity experienced a lot of co cognitive dissonance and suddenly they just started making up reasons for why, um, alternative reasons, less logical reasons, let's say, for why the, the earth hadn't been f destroyed, like the fact that some members weren't faithful enough and that's why it didn't happen. Anyway, so the point is with cognitive dissonance that shows there's a mechanism inside that wants us to be coherent but actually, it's, we're not coherent. We're a, a, a clusters of beliefs, assumptions um, that lead to habits over time. And um, they can be in conflict and, and they can change. Um, so that's number one, cognitive dissonance. Second sign that your identity is not fixed and not real is similar. It's dilem dilemmas. So, uh, dilemmas, should I do this, should I do that? If you had a, a single identity, you would just probably pick the one that matches most closely to your identity. But that's not what happens. Again, uh, there are s one, the, the different options clash somehow at the level of assumptions and beliefs. Um, so it's not that a part of you thinks this and a part of you thinks that. What are these parts? They are neurons that fire along certain circuits and then the circuits clash somehow. It's not that there's one identity somehow and there's one part of it, unless you think the brain is an identity, but I think that might be stretching it a bit. Um, so the dile yeah, experiencing dilemmas is, suggests that yeah, there isn't one identity and then otherwise the choice would be easy. Um, yeah, you can play with that. You know, these are just ideas that I'm putting out there. And so third sign that identity isn't real is dreams. In that when you, you dream, you're asleep. So a lot of your uh, processes are shut down. Your cognitive processes are shut down. Uh, certainly the conscious ones. 
but something's left. You, you sometimes have a feeling that you witness something. You're awake in your dream and you're witnessing your dream. So that witnessing part um, that doesn't have traits, it's more of a witness function, an observer function, uh, is probably closer to who you really are, that you're experiencing and you're witnessing. But it doesn't have particular traits or characteristics. It doesn't have an, an identity. It doesn't have a persona. It's a, it's a function. It's an obs ob observer. Um, so, yeah. See what you think. Do you think you have a fixed identity? And uh, is it helpful to believe that? I mean, in the end, who knows what the truth is? But um, if you're going to believe a truth, pick one that serves you and that's helpful to you in your evolution and living the life that you want to live. Um, okay, so I hope that's helpful. I uh, feel free to write, comment, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.